number one. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, today we're trying the world's greatest cooking pot. It is a cooking pot with a built-in strainer that swivels so water drains out while food stays in. It is non-stick and dishwasher safe. It stores together in a small space. Ready? Okay. Here's our lid. Okay, just a regular lid. Here's our little draining basket. You see what I'm saying? Ah, oh, it's very thin. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> it literally has an echo. Listen. Oh, it's paper thin. At least to me, that's what it feels like. I mean, you can kind of see it, right? I mean, oh no. Even the little handles are like plasticky with one screw. Okay, let's put this on. It's supposed to just clip it. You see inside it has these little like hooks on the side and then your basket has the other little hook. You're just placing it in like that, like that. The idea is cute, okay? Don't get me wrong, look how cute that is. I feel like the basket is too high up to my water level and it's not gonna get all the way in there. You know, at least that's how I like to cook my pasta. You might like to cook your pasta with just, just like the tip in, but <laughs> I like to be submerged in water, okay? And then you put your lid on and <laughs> I don't know, I don't know you guys. And then see, this is the idea. Wow, wow, the idea is fun. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> they proved me wrong. 18 eggs fit, fine, 18 eggs fit. Let's see what it looks like in the pan. Ready? They're not cooked. These are raw eggs. I'm gonna flip it over, okay? And the eggs better stay <laughs> intact. Ready? Okay. So it's gonna work, because it's a swivel. <laughs> kind of like a sippy cup. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give the world's greatest cooking pot to Vivian Heads. Number two. Easy eggs. BPA free, dishwasher safe, easy storage. There's three steps to this. One, boil your eggs. Two, cool them off. Three, shake them. You just twist it to open it. Add water to the fill line. Now I'm gonna do three eggs. Hard boiled, you're just supposed to place them in your water. Three eggs. I bet if you have little bitty baby eggs, you could probably get a whole bunch in here. My eggs are large, so they're pretty big. Let's see how many fit. Five are not gonna fit in there, okay. Put the lid on. Now the quality of it is decent. I've set a timer for six seconds. One extra second just to give me a second to start. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh no, oh no, my eggs, I busted them. Oh no. <laughs> I have egg drop soup now. What? What? Oh no, what happened to this? Time out, done. It's, it, it was done a long time ago. Let me see what's going on in here. Okay, so what we've discovered is that, <laughs> what we've discovered is that soft boiled eggs are not a good idea for these guys. They better be hard boiled. Not medium boiled, hard boiled, not soft boiled. They better be hard because they're gonna fall apart in here and you're gonna have egg drop soup like I just did. It is now clean. Let's try this again. It was super easy to clean, by the way. Okay, fill it up to the line once again. So what I'm gonna do, instead of putting the three 
Maybe I'll put four to see what happens. Maybe that will not turn them into mush if there's more of them in there. I don't know. And we're just gonna go up and down like she did in the infomercial. Ready? One, two, three, go. Did it happen again? Oh no. No. It says you can make eggs benedict. And I'm gonna say no. Did you see my egg drop soup that <laughs> the eggs cannot be soft boiled. They have to be like firm. Otherwise you're going to tear them up with this thing. This thing is not for a delicate dish in my opinion, because you're going to have a mushy mess until you get used to this little thing. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the easy eggs one Vivian head. Number three, power XL iron cordless steam iron charges in 30 seconds steam burst remove stubborn wrinkles it has a non-stick plate on it temperature ready light detector everybody has that locks into the base for extended ironing and i wonder how long it irons when it's cordless is it only like one little pass and then you got to put it down and then one little pass precision tip for pin point accuracy around buttons we get a manual we get a little water thingy oh <laughs> here we go it is lightweight i'm gonna give them that this thing weighs nothing i was gonna say my tip is crooked but it's it's a piece of paper important we have important Ooh, there's two ways to use this you can use it cordless or you can use it corded with the actual base on it. It has a lock back here in the back that you can just take this off. <laughs> Put it back on, lock it. Down underneath here, it looks like that's where you have the burst of steam that you can use. It has all kinds of little icons on here. It talks about anti-drip so it won't drip. You know when you steam sometimes a little bit of the water comes out. It says it will not do that, so we're gonna check that. Set the steamer selector to off, got it. First we'll weigh mine. Hey, not too bad, two pounds, 12 ounces. Let's see this one. Without water, mine had water, two pounds, 12 ounces, okay? This one, just like that, two pounds, nine ounces. We take it off the base. Now there's no water, so we have to account for that. One pound, 15 ounces. Okay, it's plugged in. Look how cool the base is like lit up blue. Look at it. We're at 261 and it's literally been 10 seconds. 430. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. That, that's like in the infomercial. <gasps> I think we got to do that a couple times. Wait a second. Wait, how many times can we do it and then you're done? Do I have to recharge it? Oh, it's dripping. <gasps> do you see it? Did it say no drip? Eight seconds, done. I'm impressed. Are you guys impressed? Now, let's do the candle test like they did in that infomercial. They light up all these candles and with one burst of this guy, all the candles are blown out. Hey, that's pretty good, <laughs> it did it. I mean, it left one right there, but ah. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's try it with this. The settings are still to steam. <gasps> it's dripping. Do you see it? Did you see that? Just dripped. Okay, so that makes me a little nervous when there's water like that. Do you see that? Did you? Now they promise in the infomercial that it's not gonna mess up iron-ons. Okay, ready? <laughs> no! I'm not pressing down. I'm like lightly just kind of going over it at the lowest temperature or 
not the lowest, but almost the lowest temperature, it kind of glides over it without trying to pull it up. It kind of did mess it up. So for the iron-on test, I'm gonna say it failed more than it succeeded. I'm gonna give the Power XL Iron two Vivian heads. Number four, dessert bullet by the makers of the Magic Bullet. Dairy-free, vegan, gluten-free, under 100 calories, nut-free. Well, it's only nut-free unless you put nuts in it. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> technically, but it says it's gonna make a yummy ice cream substitute in 10 seconds. And they said it was super easy to clean. I mean, they totally sold me on it. I don't have to buy ice cream anymore. Okay, easy to assemble, look at that. And then I guess these are the little attachments. Now, it comes with two attachments. One is in the shape of a star and then one is just like a little oval looking opening. And I guess this is what you use to push your fruit through. Cut up my bananas yesterday. Put them in the freezer so they're nice and cold. I think in the infomercial they also mentioned for you to just let all your fruit thaw just a little bit, not to put it in here frozen, frozen, like right out of the freezer. So it's been thawing for a second, not too long. So here's our power button. Pretty simple. Kids could use this because there's no blades in it. Let's see. One. Oh, they're stuck. Two. Let me see. Two, some already full to the top. Three, four, five. Oh, it's already to the to the top. Put this in there. Start pushing in a second. Ready? Oh, you don't have to hold it. Ooh. Wait. Oh, that's gonna make way more. Look at this. Oh, heavenly. Mm. It's ice cream. Can we not just do this in a blender? Hmm? No? You won't get the same result? Look at that. So a little bit of cocoa. Open this up. Let me look. Oh, there's still tons of bananas in there. How well is it gonna mix in this cocoa, right? <laughs> go, go, go. Where's my chocolate? It's not doing a very good job of blending it all together. Okay, now let's try peaches. The problem is that I have chocolate. Oh no, look at the chocolate. That's where it went. It never left. It never got out of here. Okay, that's gross. Now they're promising this is super easy to clean. You just take it apart and rinse it. That's it. Take it apart. Oh no, see? Oh no, the hot cocoa's in there. Look at it. Was it super easy to clean? No. There is chocolate in every freaking crevice. The bananas are stuck on every little thing in here. So I'm gonna say, was it easy to clean? No. Let's try some peaches. I'm not gonna put in bananas. I'm just gonna put in peaches. It's just sherbet. That's all it is. Power on. <gasps> Look at that. Straight up peaches. Peach one, made peaches. Now let's do a bowl of pineapples and bananas. <sighs> Even though it's simple to use, I'm not gonna let the kids use this. They're gonna make a mess. It's not the same. It's not, oh, what a fail. The bananas are just squished out of there. The only thing this is doing is pushing it through. It's not blending everything together, like literally, there are my bananas, there are my pineapples, and then a little bit of the blueberries. It's not blended in like ice cream. It's just like, just pushing fruit through. It's not making a dessert. I opened it. This is easy to clean, mess free. No, it isn't. So I'm gonna give the Magic Bullet dessert zero Vivian heads. But wait, there's more. Look at all the pineapple fruit that is left behind. What a waste. Number five, 20 minute white smile. So there are four steps to a wider smile. First, you want to apply the vitamin E treatments. Number two, you want to fill your little tray with the whitening gel. Three, 
plug the little thingy into your phone. Step four, you have to use the included whitening pen for additional whitening between sessions. Isn't this the same as the white strips? I'm just impressed with this little light. You're gonna get all these little adapters, connectors for like laptops iPads, USBs, whatever. One, two, three. I need this one for my iPhone. I got all kinds of goodies. Ooh, we got a gel pen. This is the travel on a cruise. No, we can take this whole kit on a cruise. When would you ever need this then? When you're out like at a party? What do we do when we run out of these? Hmm. Okay, that's it. So you're gonna get your little adapters. Like I said, three of these. You're gonna get your two vitamin E. Um, for your gums, protecting your gums. But when I run out of these two, what happens? How do I order more? You're gonna get two little syringes of the gel and then you're gonna get more gel in this to-go thing. And then you get a little baggie so you can take it with you for cosmetic use only. Do not swallow. For cosmetic use only, okay? Do not stare into the blue light during operation. Always consult a dentist before starting any whitening regimen. Temporary tooth sensitivity may occur. Your results may vary due to the nature of discoloration of your teeth. You can use the 20 minute smile LED light every 17 days, not more frequently. For daily maintenance and whitening, use the pen. So they're saying every 17 days. In the infomercial, weren't they circling three times a month? How does that work? Somebody do the math real quick for me. Three times a month, but I can't do it more than every 17 days. <laughs> Almost impossible to do three times a month. Protect your lips and gums by applying the vitamin E swab. Swab on lips and gums only. Well, duh, where else am I gonna put this? Rinse your mouth with warm water. Do not swallow the gel. For best results, wait one hour before eating or drinking. My teeth are probably over here somewhere, but I don't think they're 100% white. I'm gonna put them up, then we're gonna do the little 20 minute thing, and then I'm gonna do it again. It said three shades. First, let's do a little bit of shade matching. I'm gonna say the bottom are going to be the S12. The top, S10 maybe, let's see. Yeah, see, look at the shades. Told you my teeth aren't white white. I have plenty of shades that I could bump up to, at least three. Oh, it smells like coconut oil. Okay, gums. It has a little thing there at the end. A little bit, not too much. Oh, too much. Oh. I'm already running out. Another thing they brag about in the infomercial is that this covers all your teeth. Mm. I think my mouth is too big. Look how small that is. My mouth is a lot wider than this. So it just kept pushing up. I was literally tense trying to hold on to this end here so it wouldn't pop out of my mouth. I don't know if that's how it should be. Let's check the color. S10 for my top and S12 for my bottom. It lightened a little bit. Did it lighten three shades? Don't think so. If I would have lightened three shades, it would put me at S4. So it bumped me one shade on the top and one shade on the bottom, not three. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the 20 minute white smile one Vivian head. Number six. So these little brushes that they sell are very helpful. Now, some people will say don't use them every day because you get little micro tears. I understand it's not for every day, but you're gonna be shocked how much makeup is left on your face if you don't use something like this to take it off, even after you've wiped your face with some sort of makeup remover and then washed it. There's still makeup on your face, you guys. I have here tons of these brushes, okay? and then my new one because I love them. I have the original Clarisonic Mia 2. This is an Olay brush that I bought for like 19 bucks. It's my favorite. I have used it forever. It takes two little batteries. There's no charging, there's no nothing. It comes with an additional brush head. I absolutely love it. If you've been looking at the proactive one, maybe if this one works, you go for this one instead, right? So to insert the battery, you're gonna twist the back 
to unlock. Okay, they're at the bottom. Two AAA batteries. Okay, line up your little arrow again. Lock, okay. We're in place. I wonder if this thing is loud. Why do I feel like it's not in the right place? Okay, let me show you how loud this is so that we have something to compare it to. That's the low, medium, high. Pretty good, right? I love that one. I've already said it a thousand times. Okay, this one has two settings, low, high, right? Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay, ready? So the first one is gonna be low. Oh, okay. High. Ooh. High. That was on high. Let's do it on low. Two. You have to wet the little head first on any brush, so I usually take it off because <laughs> I don't want to wet this thing. I usually take it off like that and then I put it back and then start it. So I'm going to start it on low just because it gets kind of loud. So we're done with this one. My face has been rinsed. Now let's do the opposite side. We're going to start on low. It feels weird. It's not as loud as the other one. I feel like on low, it's kind of struggling a little bit. Okay, on high, it's definitely rubbing my face really hard. It needs a medium. The low's too low and the high is too high. So, for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Active Glow one Vivian head. Number seven. It's a little gadget that you use to cut your pills in half so you know exactly how much you are taking. This one actually comes with a little grip guard based on the packaging. It also comes with a dual side carousel. Okay, see this is where all the pills go. Easily flips over for more pill chambers. If you look at the back, there's a whole bunch more. So today I have all kinds of sizes. I have big round ones, do they have that? Nope. I have little round ones, I have these like oval ones. It will work on any pill. Take it off the packaging because I already found a pill that it's not gonna work on. Easy and safe to use, won't crush or crumble. It has a built-in guard to protect you from the little blade that's in there, if you can see it right there. Place the pill, press down. So this is a super easy product to use. It has a total of 18 little chambers. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, I, did I already break it? Oh no, <laughs> I broke it already. Well, it didn't even last for one pill. Look, I think I pulled it too far back, which is probably dangerous and not recommended, but the little, guard fell off. I'm not putting my finger in there. See, this is scary. See, these have like little hooks on the side that attach to the hooks here. Can I take this off? Okay, here we go. I don't know how to attach. <laughs> Should I just leave it off? I'm not gonna cut myself. I'm just gonna leave these off. They snapped off. It looks like you can put them back, but I'm not gonna waste my time with that. I'll just be super careful. But just keep that in mind. We haven't even tested one and it's already falling apart. All you're gonna do is literally just close it. Super easy, and some people need to cut it like this instead of using a knife. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Wait a second, it was super easy. The thing is, the whole idea of this product, right, is that we are cutting it exactly in half. It's still not cutting it in half. This is not half. If you need to change it, you need to lift it out of here and then reposition and then put it in. I don't like that. I thought it was like a little wheel that we could just spin. You can't do that. Okay, this one. Ooh. Let's look, oh, no. 
Some of these look exactly the same size. Look how it's getting stuck, look. I'm gonna give Pill Perfect one Vivian head. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian try. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.